to talk about basically one of my most popular videos. I made four videos afterwards because I actually tilted the gyroscope along uh, the centrifugal edge of that super powerful and gigantic monster magnet. I hate to use the words human stupidity, but I can't use any other words other than human stupidity. I've had thousands of comments about that video where I take this uh, gyroscope, I spin it up, I place it at the dead center, the point of a centripetal convergence over that gigantic monster magnet. It'll sit there and spin and spin and spin and spin. Obviously the friction of the bearings will eventually slow it down. And then I actually place it over near the edge. People actually see that I have it tilted. They're like, why don't you hold it upright? Well, I did four other videos months and months ago where I actually did hold it upright. And if I actually place it along the centrifugal edge of that magnet, it will immediately start to radically slow down. And within just a couple, a couple few seconds, it's, it's halted. That video has had countless thousands of views, and the epic stupidity, I hate to say this, you're going to think I'm so arrogant, but it, it, it's absolutely mind-blowing. I said in that video, endless numberless times, I said, <laughs> and this is what blows my damn mind, I mean, it blows my mind to hell and back. I said countless times in that video, I said, look, centripetal magnetism is radically different than centrifugal magnetism. That is the, the crux and the axis mundi. It is the meat and the hamburger of that entire video, and yet nobody even talks about it. Nobody has a damn thing to say about it. They say, oh, that's Lens of Law. That's Eddy Currents. That's a, that, not only is that not only a pathetic description, you don't even explain, these people don't even explain what the hell the difference is because on a Gauss meter, I don't know if you know, people know what a Gauss meter is. Most people don't. It's a Gauss meter. You actually read the Gaussian flux. Okay, a Gauss meter will read on a huge magnet or any magnet. It is very strong in the center. It tapers off towards the intermediate zones as you reach the edge of any magnet, whether it's square or cylindrical or, or circular, that it increases again. Basically, it's as strong in the center as it is on the edge. The entire crux of that GD video, that damn video, is the point that it, at the, with the same Gaussian flux at the center as it is at the edge, it will sit there and spin in the presence of high centripetal magnetism, but it will break very, very quickly along centrifugal. There is not a single book on Earth, let, let you wrap your damn brain around this, there's not a single damn book on Earth anywhere, no damn where, that differentiates out centripetal magnetism from centrifugal magnetism. Not a single damn one. The only person that has ever explained that is me and my book. They're too radically radically different things. Now to science that's not true. Magnetism is magnetism is magnetism is magnetism. Well that shit is absolutely not true. That is like saying well if you have a strong flow of water and you have the exact same flow of water then it's all the same shit and uh, I will point out to you a very simple analogy. That is as stupid, as ignorant, as dumb, as pathetically asinine as saying the strong flow of water that's coming out the uh, the tap in your bathtub is the same thing as the strong flow of water that is going down the drain in your bathtub. The two of them are strong flows of water, but one is radically different crap than the other. Excuse my French there. This video that has had so many countless thousands of views, and people say, well, you tilt the magnet there. I wish you wouldn't tilt it. Well, I made several videos you know, months after that, and people can go find them. I don't know where they are, but I can make the video again if you want me to. I, you know, I actually hold it upright. People don't like the fact that I tilted it. Doesn't change a damn thing. Doesn't change a damn thing. <laughs> Not of the thousands of comments on that video, and a lot of them are extremely rude and crude. Okay, really rude and crude. I mean, like, damn. You know, really. You have to say, I mean, just horrible, abysmal stuff. There there's, must be somebody out there on the internet that is pointing to my video. It's like, you know, go see what this fat, tattooed asshole is talking about. And uh, they're leaving these asinine comments. A bunch of brain-dead science geeks. People like that actually make me sick because they're like every branch of science throughout history. Every 
bit of uh, science, and by science I use the term really, really loosely, because a true scientist is always interested in uncovering the truth. But every branch of science throughout history has always thought they absolutely knew what the shit was going on in the world and the cosmos. And like 10, 20, 30, 40 years later, it depends, we discover, oh, those people back then that thought they knew what the hell was going on, they didn't know shit. And then another 30 years comes along, and we realize, oh, those people back then didn't know shit. And humanity is still in that same place. And so these people that actually think, oh, we, we, we know what the hell's going on. My answer to you is, no, the hell you damn don't. Because there is not a single book anywhere on this earth, and by God, I own every goddamn book on field theory and magnetism ever written. I either have the physical book or I have a digital copy of it, okay, damn it? That never actually tells you what the hell a field is. I'm the first person in the world, and I'll do that in the fourth edition of the book. I basically already have. What the hell a field is. Okay, let's forget about that fact. <sighs> there is not a single book anywhere that differentiates out centrifugal magnetism from centripetal magnetism. Not one. The two are the same, according to them. The, mag the strong Gaussian flux, which is empirically measurable with a Gauss meter, Okay, look up a Gauss meter on eBay if you don't know what the hell a Gauss meter is, right? It's basically like measuring water flow, except it's measuring the flow of magnet magnetism. If you take a big-ass freaking magnet, it, it's easier to measure on a big-ass magnet. It's really strong in the center, every magnet's the same. And it tapers off in the intermediate zones, and it's really strong along the edge. The magnetism at the center, even though it's basically the same Gaussian flux as the edge, the two are radically different entities, night and day. That's the entire premise of that goddamn video. Excuse my language. The entire premise of the video is that point and that point alone. And yet every single person that comments on that video, they ignore that fact. They don't even try to pretend to comment on it. They dodge it like a bullet. Wah. Now that's eddy currents there. You know, you hold that brass flywheel. It's part copper and, uh, you know... Uh, that's a brass flywheel. It's aluminum housing there. Yeah, it's uh, eddy currents. Eddy currents. Lens law. Okay, this is what I heard. Thousands of comments. The eddy currents. Lens law. Eddy currents. Lens law. Eddy currents. Lens law. Not only is that a pathetic description, it has absolutely not even the start of any uh, attempt. It's not even a damn attempt to explain the fact that there is a huge difference between centripetal magnetism and centrifugal. Nobody ever in thousands of comments even dares to try to start to explain that. Which is okay. Not knowing stuff is okay as long as you want to learn. It's like, I don't know. That's actually one of the smartest things that people could say. People are like, well, no, that means you're ignorant. No. What is ignorant is an asshole that says, I know what's going on here, that's lens off. That is ignorance. If someone says, I don't know, but I would love to find out, you know, let's, let's search, search for the answer. You see, because real ignorance is when someone thinks they know something, but they really don't. When you think you know something, you don't go searching for the answer of that thing that you think you know. Do you feel me on that one? If you think you know what two and two, well, two and two is four. You know the answer to that riddle, which isn't a riddle, obviously. You don't go seeking the answer to the question, what is 2 plus 2? The same thing is true with these hubristic, pseudo-intellectual, knuckle-dragging mental midgets that uh, it's okay not to know. If actually more people, and I don't think there's one damn comment in, one, in those thousands and thousands of comments, I just don't know, you know? We're not there yet in science, you know, where we really don't understand cosmic. Even some of the, you know, even the people that I can't stand, they're atomistic morons and they're, they're, they're the head of departments of physics. These people that are atomistic idiots that, uh, you know, have made a cult figurehead out of Einstein and, you know, they, they, uh, they love uh, Richard Feynman. I mean, two of the dumbest, most ignorant people who ever lived. Even these people that I can't stand, they will say, generally speaking, we don't know, you know, how the universe works. Even these people that I can't stand will at least, and I agree with them on that much at least, at least admit, like, we don't know. We, we just don't know how the shit, we don't know how this shit works. Meaning field theory, cosmic mechanics. Those people admit they don't know. Oh, but the people that leave comments on that YouTube video, they certainly, oh, that's Eddie Currents, that's Lens Law. That's not what that video is about. <laughs> that video is not about that. One of the most intelligent statements someone can make is, I don't know. 
I will think, no, that's a statement of ignorance. No, that's a statement of wisdom. See, the ancient Egyptians and the Greeks knew stuff like that. You know, you first you have to start out with, uh, the wiser you become, the more you realize, uh, the more you know what you don't know. You ever heard that statement before? These people that think they know stuff and they don't know stuff, that's Lenz Law, that's Eddie Current. Well, you didn't even begin to describe what's going on between the centrifugal magnets. Why is it that the gyroscope will sit there and spin endlessly under the same Gaussian flux of centripetal magnetism, but if I place it on the edge, centrifugal magnetism will uh, take this flywheel and start breaking it immediately. Nobody has even started. And it's okay. I just don't know. That's an intelligent statement. That's an acceptable intelligent statement. I don't know. I actually do know the reason why, but <laughs> I let people, some people even said that I actually have some sort of like mystery device underneath the magnet that I'm like uh, faking it. I get, you know, tell you what, you go buy a thousand dollar magnet and a gyroscope with a brass flywheel and you do the experiment yourself, you get the exact same results, okay? That video has brought me endless humor. There is no other video that has humored me and tickled my funny bone more than that video. Um, a lot of people said I'm being very arrogant in that video. Maybe I'm being very arrogant in this video. It's not arrogance. It is. It's that I'm not running a popularity contest, and uh, you know I like to, ch I like to challenge my own mind. What the hell is wrong with challenging someone else's mind? You know, drop the personality cult stuff. Okay, I'm not. You know, I'm not kissing your butt. You're not kissing my butt. How about people actually mutually agree? Hey, we don't know, but. I love the search for knowledge. You know, when stuff is discovered in the world about how the universe works, that shit is great. We both love that. Let's agree to that fact. But that video has amazed me beyond belief. I had no idea that so many people could make so many asinine comments. If someone just like, at any point in time, those thousands of comments, I just said, I don't know. <laughs> That'll be like, wow, there's a really intelligent, wise statement, you know? <laughs> descriptions are not explanations. Children can describe things, but descriptions are not explanations. And once you even get past that, you realize the fact that, you know what? There's not a single book on this earth, and there is not one. I'll give anybody a million dollars if you can go find one. It doesn't exist. Anywhere does not exist that says there is a difference between uh, centripetal magnetism and centrifugal magnetism. There is no mention of that. There is not. Absolutely nowhere does that exist. You know what happens if you take a little uh, steel bearing and you place it on top of that big magnet or any other magnet? You know what happens? Since the Gaussian flux is the same at the center as it is the edge, why don't you explain to me why if you place the little steel ball or even a magnet, a weak little ball magnet, at the center of that magnet or anywhere in the intermediate part of the middle of that magnet, it will immediately accelerate towards the edge. Kind of like waves are pushing it outwards. Well, why would it accelerate towards the edge? There's strong magnetism right at the center of that magnet. Why, how the hell could there be any difference? There's not a single book on this earth that ever talks about that. Not one, because magnetism is magnetism is magnetism, right? Yeah, sure it is. And I've got a pet unicorn in my back room back there that I'm feeding him oats to. These people, and these people always exist through every part of time. They always think that uh, science has a firm grip on what the hell is going on, and it does not. If uh, thousands of years in the future we do, you know, I'm into that. That sounds great. But right now, just because we have computers and, uh, and particle colliders and television sets, that is humanity being clever. That does not mean humanity is wise or we have a firm grip on what the hell is going on in the universe. You know? <laughs> when you start thinking that you know it all, then you're making a grand mistake. If I were 
as like most other people, I would just say, yeah, science, science has figured that shit out already. You know, there's, you know, you don't go looking for the answer to shit that you think you already know the answer to. Do you understand how that works? That is so important. Crap like that isn't taught in school. If you think you know the answer to something, you don't go seeking out the answer to that thing that you think you know the answer to. God, really wise statement. Everybody should ponder that shit. Excuse my language. Emphatic emphasis. I, it takes a whole lot to amaze me, but there's been nothing more amazing to me than the comments left on that video. Nothing. I cannot recall a single person who ever said, I just don't know. That would have been such a wise, intelligent, thoughtful, reasoned statement to be made. <laughs> I never planned on that video being a psychological experiment of the state of uh, human understanding and comprehension, but that's exactly what it's turned out to be. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have happy holidays and everything. It's good to think, you know? You shouldn't sit in an echo chamber and hear people agreeing with you. You know, you know how you sharpen a sword or sharpen a knife? You actually have to, you know, you have to rub it against something. That's how minds get sharper, you know? If you if you uh, sit in a group of people that only agree with you and agree with the things you say, your mind turns to jello. Debate is a good thing. That's how the mind is sharpened. Thinking is good for you. Uh, it kind of sharpens your brain. Didn't teach you that stuff in school though, did they? Thanks for watching. Loxi veritas.